Hi, everyone, and welcome along to a UCAT LVSA crossover um, combination, amalgamation. Uh, looking forward to, to this. I'm Colm Cronin from the Adventures in Advising podcast, and today I am delighted to be joined by a group of wonderfully talented people from across the, the continent. I think we're in three different countries currently. So Anne, uh, Iris and Chris, welcome. How are you all doing? I'm oh, doing Good. great. Thanks, Colm, and thanks for having us here. Great stuff. Um, we might give the viewers an opportunity to get to know uh, each of you. So Anne, we might start with you. Maybe you tell us a, a little bit uh, about yourself and where you're working. Yeah, sure. So most people will know me from UCAT um, because I'm the vice chair of the community engagement team, um, which is a really, really exciting role. I'm based in the UK and I currently work at the University of Southampton. Um, and I'm a teaching fellow, a senior teaching fellow at the University of Southampton and responsible for developing and coordinating the personal academic tutoring program that we run there. Very good. And Iris, what about you? Yeah, my name is Iris Burks. Uh, I work for Maastricht University at the campus in Vendo and I coordinate the uh, Office of Academic and Student Advising. And uh, yeah, for the fast, first part of this year, we've been uh, organizing uh, this conference and uh, I've been part of this delightful uh, group of, of people to organize this conference. So uh, I'm very excited to actually start it next week. Very good. And Chris, you're very welcome. Thanks. Yeah, I agree, Iris. I'm very, very much looking forward to the, the doors opening and the people walking in virtually, so to say. But uh, my name's Chris. I'm, uh, I'm a bit of a crossover, so I'm British originally, but now I work in Maastricht uh, as well. And I'm the coordinator of academic advising at the Maastricht Science Programme. And I'm also teaching physics classes uh, for most of my work. And uh, I've been here for eight years, but before that, I was in the UK doing my PhD there. Fantastic. Yeah, as I said, uh, three very talented people. And we are going to um, delve into to the conference and there is lots to look forward to. But I suppose one of the things that we certainly we're going to discuss is the GatherTown platform. Maybe um, for viewers who are not familiar with this, don't have a clue what GatherTown is, um, who, does somebody want to, to tell me a little bit more about it and what it's going to mean in terms of uh, conference attendees? Yeah, so so Gather Town is our uh, our online advising hub. We call it the advising hub uh, for uh, easy reference, uh, and it is a, a virtual meeting ground. Uh, we've created a uh, a building in which people can walk around, meet with each other. Uh, and have, um, yeah, hopefully stimulating and interesting conversations with each other. And we will be there as UCAT and LVS are together at the same time. Um, so that means that you'll bump into people from your own side of the pond, but also uh, you can cross uh, the channel. Literally, we have a channel on the advising hub uh, and you can cross it and, and uh, meet people uh, um, who have a, a slightly different context in advising than you do, but therefore probably bring new and exciting ideas to your advising context. Yeah, and I suppose I have um, I've seen the, the platform and used it a couple of times. And uh, for for viewers who are unfamiliar, um, this is how I think GatherTown advertises themselves. Uh, for those who who miss the camaraderie and spontaneous hallway um, conversations and chats, and you can design your own. And Iris, you very kindly shared uh, a screenshot of what attendees can expect uh, when they uh, enter into the uh, the, the UCAT LVSA uh, Gather Town Lounge. Yeah, you're uh, right now. You're in our social lounge, our um, our, our networking hub. Uh, you can uh, sit at, uh, on a couch, or you can have lunch at a table. Um, if you see our avatars in the middle of the screen, um, you will find us at the, the fireplace. Uh, so the nice thing is you, you virtually walk around in this environment. So in the middle, you see the avatars. Uh, and by means of those avatars, you, you move around in the space. And on the top of the screen, you also see our video connection. Because we are close uh, in this, this shot, um, our video connection has uh, 
um, has, has appeared. Uh, but as you can see, there are more people in this environment at the same time. And you can see on the left, there are more people um, in the uh, advising hub at the same time. But you don't see their screen because they're not close to us at the moment. So you can actually have a private conversation with someone uh, close to you. And Chris, I'm going to pick on you a little bit because uh, we saw your picture there. So obviously you have tested this. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience with it? Yeah, so I think it, it really brings back that feel of of sort of spontaneity of, you know, literally whizzing past somebody in the hallway on the way to a session. And, oh, it's it's uh, Dave. I saw him last year or, you know, oh, that's uh, that's a person who who I, uh, you know, want to catch up about their their recent trip or obviously no trips at the moment. But, you know, to get back that to get back that sense of, you know, just that casual conversation, as Iris said. Uh, and I think for, for us, um, the reason that we went down this path is also to give people a way to not just be in another Zoom environment, because I think we've had a lot of that in the last year, I think collectively uh, in academia and, and probably the wider world. And I think to just have a place of, yeah, a little bit less formality, a bit more fun and a little bit of, uh, yeah, just see what happens. Maybe it'll be a disaster, but I think uh, we've given people a chance to to, <laughs> to get to meet each other and, and see how things go. I think I don't think it'll be a disaster at all. And how exciting is it that this is going to allow, I suppose, delegates from both UCAT and the LBSA to, to gather and chat together? This is amazing. And this is really, really exciting. We were talking about this earlier with Chris and Iris, because normally if, um, if you've got two organisations who normally attend each other's conferences and they're happening at the same time, the advantage of this sort of online environment, if you like, is now we can share um, sessions. We've got sessions that are open to both groups. We can go and talk to each other, which wouldn't be which we wouldn't be able to do in real life. Because, you know, some LBSR in the Netherlands and we're over here and our conferences are happening at the same time. So it's really, really exciting because I'm going to be wandering around our gather town um, building our venue and I'll be able to bump into Iris and we'll say come on uh, let's go to UCAT's coffee lounge let's go to the bar and have a virtual coffee you know and we can do that um, and the other thing we can do that we couldn't do last year online um, because we just didn't have that same feel I don't think we were as, as geared up for it as we are this year um, we've got virtual conf um, sponsorship booths so you can actually go in, visit, talk to, engage with our sponsors. And we've got, um, or sh shall I tell people? We've got, um, if you wander around the venue, especially if you go to the maze, you'll find little virtual Easter eggs. If you find an Easter egg and take it to the sponsor desk, they're, um, they'll probably send you a little Easter treat in the post. <laughs> Ah, look at that. So, uh, so, so a, a sneak peek of, uh, of what people can, can expect. So uh, there, it's not only that you're going to get wonderful information from the conference sessions, but there are some games and, and gamification built into this as well, which is uh, really great to, to hear. Um, and I know that another uh, part of this, and um, the, I, I, I have a slide for the uh, you for the the UCAT side of the house in terms of where people can get information and you can see the conference hashtag, but not to to leave LVSA out. Uh, Iris, uh, you uh, you were tweeting uh, just today from a, a new Twitter account set up for the conference. Yes, we have a, a Twitter account for the conference called at LVSA twenty twenty one. Uh, and the same works for the hashtag. Um, so if you use those, uh, we will uh, accumulate that and, and also share, share across the pond. So we will follow very closely the UCAT um, hashtag as well. Uh, and we've also set up a, a LinkedIn group for all participants where they can, uh, can share uh, their connections uh, with each other. Yeah, brilliant. That, I that I I was I wasn't aware of that. So th this is re this is really good info for me as well, and so <laughs> something that can uh, certainly so one step go. Ahead. Ah, that this is where it should be. Uh, Chris, for for you, is there anything in particular you're looking forward to at the the conference this week? 
Yeah, I mean, it's, we were just saying like we're looking forward to normality, and I think you know this is this is almost a bit of a break for for some of us, and and just a chance to maybe turn the email off for a few days, maybe not answer everything immediately, put a, an away message in MS Teams, and uh, embrace a little bit the the you know the trips to the conferences that we are used to doing. Of course, you know there will still be the cat that needs feeding, and the and the kids who need entertaining as well. So I think in both conferences we we've sort of a bit mindful of that but uh, just a little bit of a break from the normal and also to hear about the interesting work that people have been doing because I think we all know that advising didn't stop when the pandemic hit. In fact, it probably got it probably got harder for many people. It got more intense, uh, more challenging. And, uh, you know, some of the topics in the conferences will definitely address some of the innovations, some of the lessons learned, and especially about what we might do in the future. Now we're looking at this from the from the other side. Absolutely. And I think looking at the schedules for both conferences, there are some amazing sessions, uh, some wonderful keynote speakers. So there are a whole host of things to look forward to. And I want to thank the three of you for taking the time to talk to me about the, the Gather Town platform, which sounds like it is going to allow for that kind of more spontaneous interaction, which is something that I think we've really missed. Like the virtual environment has been great in terms of the information you can get, but that social side of things has suffered. So look Looking forward to, to really embracing that over the, the next week. So Anne, Iris and Chris, thank you very much for taking the time to chat to me today. Thank you. Thank you, Colm. It's great to see you again.